Okay, guys, today I'm doing flight training with hornbills. And this is Klaus. He's gonna eat my mouth. Woo! Welcome to the party! Woo! There's two! Come on! Whoa! So cute! Okay, everybody, we're here at the Maryland Zoo with Lindsay and Sarah, and we're about to do flight training with hornbills, right? Yes, Vonderdeck and hornbills. And what are their names? Klaus and Clara. You guys ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Uh, why do you have that mesh over? Um, so they normally are cavity nesters. They're so probably gonna like, fly off just to yes. warn If it's they do land on right. a head, just don't move. So we thought that it would be All comforting right. to have an enclosed cavity. Wow, so cool. Are they fully grown? Yes. Um, wow. Good. Oh. So, so that was so cool. Yeah, our hornbills are full size. They reach their full size in just a couple of months. Klaus. So he has an orange beak and she has a black beak. Correct. That's really the only way to tell them apart. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than she is. Um, okay, but that's the quickest way to tell who's who. Wow. Klaus. Good. So cool. So Sam, if you want to stand next to me, okay, um, and then you'll just want to put your hand out um, like this. And then I'll start you off, Klaus. Good. And so you can so actually give him the food next time he comes. Okay. But Lindsay will call him back. Klaus. Oh. And I will give you some snacks. Some Dead snacks. grasshopper, so, yum. Do you want to show what they're yeah. eating? Add some cricket. Very delicious for a hornbill. And then you can say his name. Klaus. Come on. Oh. Very good. They look like the birds, um, Zazu from Lion King. That is also a hornbill. So oh, yeah. Okay. There are many different hornbills throughout Africa, and they just have different, like, colorations. You can call them again. Close! So cool. You just have to hide it, because he is a thief. <laughs> and you can tell as soon as he lands, he's expecting his snack. Yeah. Yes. Lindsay and I have to be very consistent. So cool. Klaus, he's so tiny and cute. We can probably put him back soon and, and then do hand hopping with Clara. With Clara, okay. So this is another one of yeah, those behaviors right that we kind of trained um, for fun to include our guests in their training. The so hand hopping? Your hands, yep, up about six inches apart. So perfect. Here, Clara, hop. Oh, keep going. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah, so this is a good way for people to see her close. She's so vocal. It's so cute. Come on. And they definitely don't do it perfect every time. So um, it's a good way to um, tell people kind of what the training process is and that mistakes are OK, too. Um, we train using all positive reinforcement here. So if they do what we ask, then there's always um, a treat in it for them. And if they don't do the right thing, then that's OK. Yeah. Um, they're allowed to not participate or to mess up. Um, and there are no negative consequences. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that happens. happens. <laughs> too bad that wasn't on one of you guys. Uh, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> I hope I met the challenge today, guys. If you want to watch more videos, click here. And don't forget to subscribe below.